Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Josh and today this video might be looking slightly different compared to my other videos and that's because I'm filming it with the brand new Panasonic 50mm f1.8 lens. Now this lens is one that I've been waiting for for absolutely ages ever since I first got the S5 uh, at the end of last year and I'm so happy now it's here. I've got to tell you I've been testing it for the last few days and it's everything I hoped it would be. Size, weight and price. So as the roadmap suggested with all the images that came up quite a while ago the 50mm one8 actually shares the same size and form factor as the 85mm 1.8 that's already on the market. Um, it's built with the same materials and to my eyes they look pretty identical. The 50mm 1.8 weighs in at 300 grams which is extremely light and given its compact size it makes a fantastic fit with the Panasonic S5 body. In fact I think the S5 and the 50mm 1.8 make a really nice balanced pair and when I was using it and shooting this weekend they definitely did feel like a match made in heaven. This lens has a 67mm filter thread and it it's said to be dust and splash resistant. I've not actually had a chance to test up the dust and splash features purely because it's been the hottest it's ever been in the UK for such a long time. So we're actually experiencing some really nice weather. So in terms of price, the 50 millimeter 1.8 is going to set you back 429 pounds here in the UK, which actually sets it up to being the cheapest native Panasonic L mount lens on the market. Now the 85 millimeter 1.8 that came out quite a while ago now, that costs around 599 pounds here in the UK. So it's over hundred pounds cheaper and also so I think the 20 to 60 kit lens is actually more expensive than 429 pounds when you buy it new as well. Um, and I think that that's an absolutely fantastic thing. I think it's been priced extremely reasonably and I definitely think that this lens is gonna sell really well because the quality you get out of it is definitely worth that money. Sample images. So while I ramble on about my experience using this lens, I'm gonna throw up loads of sample images that I got over this weekend with the 50 millimeter 1.8 mounted onto my Panasonic S5. Using this lens was an absolute pleasure. Because of its small size and weight, it made it a fantastic option for street and general walkabout photography, which is what I was doing on Saturday. It definitely gears itself up for being a very nice sort of journalistic lens in doing portraits and product shots, but also the 50 millimeter focal range, as everyone knows, is extremely versatile and you can get some wider shots as well quite nicely with it. Um, but because the 50 millimeter focal range as well doesn't distort the image too much, it looks quite natural and pleasing to the eye, you find that it basically makes everything look good. The AF speed with this lens is really snappy and responsive, which I absolutely love. And the focus motors are very, very quiet, if not silent, which is absolutely fantastic fantastic if you did actually want to record any audio with it so you're not going to hear all that sort of weird sort of focus motor pulling and stuff if you are using the AF with this lens so that's a really nice feature. Using a 50mm 1.8 again made me realise why it's such a popular lens and why it's called the nifty 50 because this lens genuinely can do everything it is a jack of all trades lens. Overall I'm really pleased with the images I was able to get with this lens they're sharp they're vibrant and it's literally everything you could ask for in a 50mm 1.8 lens. Sample video. So as I mentioned earlier in this video, I'm actually filming this with the Panasonic 50mm 1.8 and I'm using it at 1.8 with continuous AF on the S5. So this should give you a good indication of how well it locks the focus when using continuous autofocus in a sort of environment where you're just talking to a camera or let's say doing an interview style setup. Now I haven't had the chance to go out and get an abundance of video footage with this lens so far, but the stuff that I have got I'm extremely impressed with and I've got to say the results are really nice. I think the focus ring on this lens is nice and smooth and it's very responsive and of course it's a focus by a wire lens but I actually find it quite easy to lock focus when I was manual focusing and also in uh, the AF modes as well I actually find it to be quite snappy and responsive. I'll definitely make a few more videos in the future about the 50mm 1.8 and how it performs for video production so I'll be testing things like its AF performance, how well it tracks subjects and all that sort of stuff so if you are interested in those videos then definitely keep an eye out for them. Final thoughts. The Panasonic 50mm 1.8 is definitely a welcome lens for the L mount roadmap and it makes it a lot more attractive for people to buy into this system. Having an affordable and versatile prime lens that is lightweight, optically sharp and has very pleasing colours is definitely something we've been waiting for with the L mount and it makes the future of this whole system extremely promising. Um, for me personally, I'm extremely excited to see what the 35mm and the 24mm 1.8 lenses are going to be like from Panasonic, but if they're anything like the 85 and the 50mm 1.8, then we're going to be in for a real treat. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I hope you found it somewhat entertaining and interesting. And if you did, then please consider subscribing because I make a lot of Panasonic related content on this channel. Um, yeah, and hopefully I shall see you in the next video. Thank you.